Hello and welcome to another Google Basics tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Google Image Search and I'm going to show you um, some of the things that it can do and some unexpected things that you maybe didn't know that it could do. So let's get started. So I'm going to open up Firefox here. My home page is Google. To get to Google Image Search, um, if you are logged in, which I am as you can see here, um, you'll get a dark window up here that shows you a bunch of the tools that you have and one of them is images. So I'm going to click images and it's going to go to Google images. And so I can search for a picture. So let's say I want to look for, uh, right now my daughter really wants a guinea pig. So I can search for guinea pig and it's going to bring up pictures and pictures and pictures and pictures of guinea pigs. And most people know that you can do that. You can see them, you can view them like this, or you can click through once, go to what you need. Um, lots of different things you can do. You can search for almost anything, um, and you'll find sometimes exactly what you want, and sometimes you'll find things that you're not really looking for. So you do have to be careful with Google Google image searches, especially if you're a teacher using it in the classroom. Um, I use uh, Google search in, in class on my projector, my LCD projector, and I have a f function on my projector called um, AV mute, and it dark it makes it so you can't see the picture and you can't hear what's going on um, whenever I'm using Google to find something on the off the cuff I will always use uh, AV mute so if you have that option um, I would suggest that you use that so Google images is a good place to look for pictures but there's another thing that Google images will do that I, a lot of people I don't think are familiar with um, if you look at the search window here and you look off to the right you see a little camera icon if you click the camera icon, you can now search by image. Now, before we searched by topic, now we're going to actually search by image. So I'm going to upload an image. Um, I took this picture out of a book, and I'm not sure who it's by or um, what it's called. So I'm going to, and the picture's on my desktop, so I'm going to browse here to my desktop. I'm going to choose my photo. I'm going to click open. Some of you are going to laugh at me because I don't know what this picture is, but I don't know. So it's going to search it up. Here's the picture that I took. And it's going to tell me about this picture. This picture is called Wheat Field with Cypresses. It was painted in 1888 by hey, this gentleman right here, Vincent Van Gogh. It's going to show me visual similar images. So if you have a picture, a painting, that you maybe you don't remember what it's called, maybe you don't know who painted it, maybe you don't know much about it, you can take a photo of it, you can upload that photo into Google Images, and it will give you all this information about this image. Um, it's pretty spectacular. Um, now, I chose one that was, you know, by a very famous painter, obviously, and one that's fairly well known. I'm not completely sure. Um, to what extent this works. I'm sure if your child drew a picture and you took a picture and put it in here, it wouldn't be able to identify it. But I think it works fairly well for um, people whose art is well known. Um, so yeah, Google Image Search is um, it's a very powerful tool and, and you can use it for a lot of things. Um, I hope this helps. Um, thanks and join me again for my next tutorial. All right. See you later, everyone.